Good morning. It is 10.53, June 12th. <laughs> I'm actually working, which I'm not usually will have a headset on, but I took it off for the sake of the video so that I could easily like talk to you guys. Y'all, you know what I noticed? Just a random thought. I've been doing this YouTube thing for years. And yet, every time I get on here, I get out of breath. And I think it's because I get nervous. For what reason, I don't know. But anyway, so I, as you can see from the title, we're going to get into how I combine my locks and why I combine my locks. All right. So if you are an OG to the channel, you know that I have had my share of lock crises since I have started. Um, in the beginning, the first one I had was because my locks, I thought, were too small. Um, I had gotten them interlocked and I was afraid that there would be like a big size difference in where it had been interlocked and where it hadn't. As you can see, obviously there is no size difference, but I was concerned about that and then I was scared that all of my locks would thin out and become really small. At that time, my locks were still maturing um, and so all of the ones up in this front area were super, super small um and i was worried that they were gonna fall out so i started combining my locks i started out on my journey with about about 200 locks i'm now probably i have not counted since like three months in my lock journey but i'd assume that now i'm about like 180 170 something around that um i may do probably will do a lot count soon right now i'm just i don't, know, I don't really care um so i do have a lot of combined locks some of which you can see here's one it's still locking together and then here's another one that's still locking together and then you'll even see some that aren't completely together at the bottom there's here's another one that's combined but at the bottom you can see some of them let me find one have a dragon tail like this one so it is combined and this one was combined early on in my journey um, from the root almost, but you can see that this has two at the bottom of it. And then there's some along here. Here's another one that has two at the bottom, but a sticker up here. Find another one. They're like all in here. Um, and I used to also be lazy. And when the roots would get tangled, I would just be like, fuck it. I'm going to combine it. And that was trifling of me, but I did it anyway. And then some of them I actually interlocked together at the root because I didn't feel like they, here's another one that's combined. So there's the one right there. All right, so let's get into it. Um, I combine locks that I feel are not going to thrive on their own. So let's get into one that I did combine that is not fully combined yet. Okay, here's one. I'll put it back in later. So this is a lock that I felt would not do well on its own. As you can see on this side, this one is really small while this one is a bit thicker. When this one was alone, as you can see, this lock is thriving now. It's really thick. It's about the same size as my other locks. But the reason why I combined it was because I felt like this one alone without this one to strengthen it up, eventually it would have thinned out and it ultimately fallen out. So. I did not want to leave it and give it that opportunity to do so. Um, so I did decide to combine it. And as you can see now, this is very, very strong. The way I combine all of my locks, I just, there's different methods. There is a crochet method where you have like a little stick and you put the two locks together like so and you go back and forth in and out of it and just kind of tangle it up together. And that is the fastest method for it to look like it hasn't been combined or for you not to have to deal with the whole thing of combining it, waiting for it to lock together and all of that. Um, and then there's the rubber band method, which a lot of people do where they'll um, twist their hair together and put a rubber band on it or just put a rubber band on it. I don't believe in that method because the rubber bands actually create thinning um, if you notice when you do a braid out or anytime you do use rubber bands, if you leave it in for too long, it will actually compact the lock um, and make it real small towards the end. And then that is not always going to bounce back from that. So I don't believe in using rubber bands. And then also we know that rubber bands create tension on the hair, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't do it. I also just don't, I just don't want rubber bands all over my hair, but there are different methods. Some people even will braid locks together. That is obviously if you have really small locks like um, sister locks and you want to combine, 
and all of these methods, you know, it's to each their own, whatever you decide to do. But I personally don't do that. Whenever I'm combining my locks, I will literally just do a two strand twist, which is just, if you need it to be shown, just under and over and under and over, just twisting them together. And then, see, because when you get to the bottom, that's the hard part, because if you don't secure the bottom together, um, which is why some people use a rubber band, but if you don't secure the bottoms together, it will just come back out. Um, but I am kind of lucky because I kind of have like a goddess lock thing going on. All of my ends are always curly. I did not comb my locks out to get that. I don't really believe in combing my locks out. Um, but yeah, so this is what I do. As you can see, I'm down to the end, right? I just have that little bit. You just want to make sure at that part you get kind of tight. So I just switch over and like twist it on there manually. That way, if your bottom is secured, you don't really have to worry about it coming out. So you can see that it's now looks like one lock and that is not going to come out. Um, some of the ones that are bigger in different sizes and stuff, like if I were to do maybe these two together, well, this one's already combined, but you can see that that one came out because it wasn't secured perfectly, which I don't really care if they come out, but okay. If I were to combine like two big ones, okay, like this one, and let's say this one, because they're like balls at the end and not like curlies, it would be way harder to secure them together. So for those, maybe I would suggest that you, sorry guys, it's a work thing, hold on. So for those, maybe I would suggest that you crochet them. And then also if you have like a really, really loose pattern of hair, then maybe you would crochet them because it's gonna be a little bit harder to get it to stick. But yeah, you can see that I do have like a lot of combined locks in there. You just can't tell unless I were to like point them out and show them to you. Um, especially over time as my locks have grown and matured, which they have grown significantly, I have noticed that I've had to combine a few extra ones. And then also, you know, I've dyed my hair a few times, which I don't really care about. Like I only did certain areas. As you can see, I still have a lot of virgin hair in here. I did it for the reason that if my hair breaks, all of it ain't gonna break, which is kind of a stupid logic, but guess what, it works. Um, but sometimes I notice I do have to combine the dyed parts because they do get weaker, which we know that about bleaching your hair, it does weaken the locks. I don't care what anybody says, or, oh, my hair doesn't break, da, da, da. You might not be noticing it, but later down the line, it will get weaker. My locks aren't breaking off, they're not falling off, no, but they do get weaker. For example, if I were to pull on this, nothing's coming out of it. But if I were to pull on the blue one, blue hair comes out of it. See what I'm saying? Which is not a big deal anyway, because locks are dead hair. So, but yeah, so I just wanted to do a video on that because I know a lot of you guys ask me about how I combine my locks. Um, I also get asked how many locks I have a lot. I can never get a straight answer on that because like I've combined so many of them and I'm constantly combining them. Um, just when I notice they need to be, I'm always just kind of fingering through my hair, looking through for ones that need to be combined. This is perfect, so I wouldn't combine that one. But, let me find, here's another combined, no, that's not combined. Girl, it's usually like smaller ones in the back sometimes, since all of the ones in the front have already been combined. But see, these are fine, like this. That's kind of small. It's not weak at all, and I will notice that it's not weak when I go down the lock, and it's not like different sizes are smaller towards the middle, but if this was smaller like here, I would go ahead and combine it just to give it that extra strength, but that's about the size I would combine too, because you can see they're all about this size now. But yeah, so that is why I combine my locks, and that is how I combine my locks. Obviously, if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. I think it just helps to prolong the life of your locks, especially when you can find and stop the problem before it even begins. Um, yeah, them's the words, that's the video. Also, I hope you guys have been liking all the content changes. Um, I am going to be doing a lock tag soon. So any questions you guys have about my locks in general, um, let me know and those will be in the lock tag. And then there was one other thing I wanted to tell y'all. I forgot what it was. Oh, I will be doing another review of my subscribers locks video. Like um, I've done that in the past, uh, rating my subscribers locks. 
and you guys did like that so if you guys want me to do that again let me know um and then my instagram is in my bio well description and then just go ahead and dm me a picture of your locks and i will do it that way so yeah thank you for watching like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i will see you guys in the next one bye beautiful people